I've given tours of my atelier or my studio before, but in the last, I guess, month, I've made some major updates to it. Um, and this is the thing when it comes to home design is it is never done. So we can invest all this money, we can make all these changes, and you're always going to want to make more changes the longer you live somewhere. So invest in the pieces that really matter, like floors, and have fun with the rest. Like you're going to change things up. So let's take a quick little tour of the Modern Magic Atelier, and let me show you a few of the changes I've made. All right, here we are. So as always, I still have multiple zones in my atelier. Um, and atelier is French for workshop. It sounds way fancier, fancier than studio. <laughs> so the very first one I have in studio. So I have all of my different art supplies put together in these buckets over here. Um, they just slide out. This is my grandmother's old sewing table and I converted it. I took out the sewing table, which was sitting inside here, and I put in um, lights so I can use it as a light box. I've got my trusty ring light here to add extra light for when I'm painting. Um, if it gets dark outside or if it's a really cloudy day, I want as much light as possible to make sure my colors are true to form. So I invested in these little acrylic pieces. This one is 50% opacity so that the light box still works. And this one is 100% um, opaque so there is no see-through to it. And the extra white surface just gives me a little bit more bounce light. It makes things look a little bit cleaner over here. I also installed these little bookcases that I'm seeing in all the nurseries. <laughs> and ironically, they're not going in our nursery, but they are in my office. And I love them because they display my art books. They're really easy to grab reference material. And I also keep my sketchbooks up here so that they're easy to grab. So the wallpaper has stayed the same. I installed this two years ago. It is not a Modern Magic wallpaper, but it's still fun. Um, and then for my birthday this year, we got this cabinet. And so um, I know, really exciting birthday. I bought a cabinet, but let me tell you, I love this thing. Uh, it's bigger than the bookcase that was here before. It's white, so it reflects light. It gives it a clean, polished look. I like the gold hardware. I built it myself. Um, I'll include that time lapse. It's pretty funny to watch. Um, but everything in here, this is my um, printing and shipping station. So when you order a print or cards from Modern Magic, they are all printed on this beautiful printer right here and then I'll package it up and sent to you. Mozzie wants to check it out, make sure everything looks good. Looks like it is. And then on this side, we have um, some extra prints that are already printed as well as some originals, extra ink, extra paper, that kind of stuff. So all still part of the printing and shipping station. Then over here, I switched out some art over here. We have one Modern Magic original. These are pieces that were in my parents' house that they didn't want anymore, and I kind of liked their vintage feel. I love anything nature, so that felt really good to me. Um, I have my standing easel for when I want to do standing painting, which doesn't happen as often as it used to. Um, it's usually for larger format, like when I do the 18 by 24 pieces. Um, and when, then I, when I'm done, I like to hang the pieces there and just get a chance to look at them from different perspectives for a while. I also installed curtains. And the great thing about these curtains were they were in our living room, um, but I needed, a, I needed two sets. And so I just cut them down the middle. And by doing that, I gave myself extra curtains. And they're nice and thin so there's not extra bulk because I really only pull one side when the sun is coming directly in and that's only in the morning. So that's just kind of a nice little extra feature. Then over here, this wall used to be a dark blue. It was never the right blue. This is why you should always use uh, paint testers to make sure you have the right color. It was never the right color that I wanted. I actually wanted it darker and I wanted it less saturated. And so I decided to just go ahead and paint this wall white. Once we put the cupboard in that was white and I saw how much light that reflected and brightened this place up, I was like, you know what? 
that blue is interfering. Let's just go white. And then I just did a clean, simple gallery wall. The two middle pieces are originals. Um, and then the four pieces on either side are all prints. And that way when I'm doing calls at my desk, which is this station, um, people can see behind me, they can see my artwork. It's always front and center. Plus I love switching out artwork when I have new fun pieces to, to display. Um, and then at my desk, I invested in a uh, desktop computer, an iMac this year, instead of using a laptop, which is great in that the screen is bigger, the color accuracy is wonderful. Um, and then I went ahead and bought this amazing piece of equipment. Love it. It is a Wacom. And they actually gave me a free mini one, which has been nice for doing some photo editing stuff. But I use this one to do digital drawings. And so I'm starting to do a little bit more digital drawings on Photoshop, as well as continuing to play with digital drawings on my iPad. Uh, the last big piece that was added was my mother-in-law got me this beautiful rug for my birthday. And so that kind of just was like the icing on the cape. It wrapped everything together to create this beautiful, bright space. I love working in here. It still feels creative with the wallpaper and the rug and the there's color and there's texture, but it's really calm and it's really bright. Um, this room actually gets the best light in the house. And so that's really great for a creative space. But um, in any space that we're creating, we want it to be a place that feels welcoming, that feels calming and that excites us. So for me, that was keeping it really bright, but keeping it creative with color in the art and color in the textiles, which is my wallpaper, as well as my rug. That is a quick look at the Modern Magic Atelier. Um, it's, you know, it's simple. It's what I need for the things that I do. I love creating art. I love painting and I love getting to create prints and home goods for you to take home and bring a little magic into your life. Mm -hmm.